hello friends i am again with the chapter 6 chapter 8 class 6 the first type of joint the ball and socket joints ball and socket joints can rotate in all direction the this type of joints present in our body are shoulder joints and thigh joints so here one uh, hole or socket is present where another joint is inserted into it and it can rotate in all direction like here one bone bone is a socket socket on hole socket or hole sorry and other is ball which fit into the fit into the socket socket this joint this joint can move in all directions all directions or it can move move in 360 degree and 60 degree that is a complete rotation such type of joint can do a complete rotation example of such joints are shoulder joints hip joints hip joints sorry that is also called as pelvic girdle and shoulder joints are called pectoral girdle here in the book it is given the picture you can get a clear idea regarding this joint here this is the ball this is the socket and this type of is called as ball the ball is inserted into the socket it's a making a ball and socket joints it's a diagram and in this it can move in all the direction the forward backward in a circular motion this is ball and socket joint here and uh, the joint is here the ball joint and this is socket the ball inserted into the socket this is the thigh bone and we can rotate in all the direction a ball and socket joints in the thigh bone and this is hip this is the pelvic girdle when uh, in such type of uh, joints there is a socket or cavity where other joint end is like uh, semi circular or ball who is fitted into the socket so that it can rotate in all the direction so that's why it is called as ball and socket joints examples are shoulder joints hip joints or you can say it pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle next come to the second joints that is pivotal or pivotal what you can uh, say as per your convenience pivotal joint pivotal joints the literal meaning of pivotal is important this is an important joints where it, this joint is present the joint is present 
in our neck where neck and the skull is attached with each other so it is present in the neck it is a ring like bone ring like bone this is not like ball and socket it is a ring like bone where the skull is fixed fixed with neck bone it is a ring like bone how it looks it's a ring like bone where the skull is fixed with bone it moves from this joint joint moves from left to right and vice versa left to right and vice versa up and down up and down it is not flexible like ball and socket it is not flexible like ball and socket joint so this is the pivotal joint pivotal joint is just like ring here this is the ring and the this is neck bone we can rotate it towards here or towards here not in a circle you can 180 degree we can move it in 180 degree direction that is uh, left to right and right to left and up and down we cannot move it in 360 degree or circular movement like ball and socket this is the pivotal joint here the skull joint skull bone fixed with the neck the pivotal joint in the given one. the joint where our neck joints and head is pivotal joint and it is an important joint it allows us to bend our head forward and backward and turn the head to right and left try this movements how are these movements different from those of our arm that can rotate complete circle it cannot do complete circle in its ball and socket joints in a pivotal or pivotal joint a cylindrical bone rotates on a ring here this this is the second type of joints the pivotal joints the example is leg joint or the the skull joint fixed in the neck thank you friends for watching in my next video i will discuss about the hinge joint and fixed joints bye